Thanks for tuning in to the Air Jordan 5 Stealth 2.0 review and in-depth look. Today, we got one of my favorite Air Jordan retro silhouettes, the Jordan 5. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time on my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that thumbs up. It does a lot for my channel, it does a lot for the algorithm, it lets me reach out to new viewers and new potential subscribers on YouTube. And if you like what I'm doing on this side, if you like this pair, if you like this review, drop a comment below. It's all love. I'm always in the comments. I'm all ears. Your opinion is, you know, your opinion, my opinion is my opinion. I love to interact with other people and new people, as well as the people who always been here since day one, the people who joined along the way in this last year and some change that we've been doing this. If you don't know, it's your boy Detail Don and Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's jump into this Air Jordan 5 Stealth 2.0 review. I know I'm a little late, but I had to do my guy, Fujimoto Francis Forbes, some justice and review his pair that's set to drop, a pair that he put a lot of love and creativity in. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, go to my last video and make sure to check that out. You know, I got the Fujimoto Aviation logo on right here. Mad love to him. Now, the details on here are really what kind of throw me off on this sneaker. Before I bring it out the box, um, I just want to say, you know, I posted on my Instagram and I got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback about people. I asked them, you know, do you like this pair? Are you messing with the tumble leather? 80% of the majority of people was like, yo, tumble leather is hard. The sneaker is fresh. Everything looked good. Everything looked right. Must cop. Then there's like 20% of people that was like, you know, nah, easy pass. I pass on those. I ain't even trying to grab them. And me, I'm kind of on the set, the side of the fence where the people that are just going to pass on them. I grab them for the review. I grab them for, you know, your guys' entertainment, my creative mind to let loose and just do some fun stuff while I got some free time. But in my personal collection, my personal pairs, I'm probably not going to keep this one, man. Tumble ever throws it off for me. If you watch any of my other stuff, you already know, not a big fan of Tumble Leather, you know, like the Air Jordan 1 Pine Green 2.0s. Easy, you know, pass for me. I did grab them, but easy pass for me to pass them along to somebody who's going to appreciate them a lot more than me. Enough of that, man. Let's jump into what's in the box. We got that regular Air Jordan 5 flip top box. This pair did release on Saturday, March 27th for a retail price of $190. I was able, blessed to say that I hit on Finish Line Reservation. Finish Line be showing me love, man. Mad shouts to the Finish Line. Um, so I got lucky. I didn't hit at the mall that I always hit at, but I did hit at the mall, at a mall that had a Finish Line, that had this pair, so it was all love. That retail price is always love, especially nowadays. It's really hard to grab a pair for retail. Um, so anytime I can do that, I'm blessed and be able to bring out it bring out a, you know a look at it even more blessed jump into this box man we got the splatter paint on the paper and you'll see why because they switched it up a little bit on this 2.0 and they gave us on that shark teeth a little blue splatter you guys can see it there and you know the tumble leather like i said that detail it just throws it off and the fact that it's all around the whole entire sneaker i'm just not feeling it man there goes the medial side of the sneaker basically same thing a little bit of splatter on that black part right there with the gray midsole got that air bubble unit right there pretty clean sneaker without the tumble leather but had that regular tumble i mean that regular leather that be on the air jordan 5 i would have been all over it you know like the regular the original pair of these what I do like is, you know, they kept that OG vibe with that reflective on the tongue. 
Got that blue Jumpman. Got a black Jumpman on the back. No bother that it doesn't say Nike Air because it's not an original release and not a pair that Michael Jordan wore. So under, you got the clean icy soles with a blue Jumpman, blue um, uh, black mid part that says Jordan on it. White laces, no extra laces on this. Um, it is a, like I said, great silhouette. Air Jordan 5 is whew, top of the line, real deal, holy field. Um, but, you know, the tongue leather just throws it off for me. I can care less about the tongue tie. You know, it's not it's going in the box. You already know if you've seen my couple reviews. Um, not couple, but all the reviews that I got on the Jordan 5. It's... You know, it's a pretty nice sneaker overall in the sense of you see it from far away and you don't notice the tumble leather. But when you come up close, it just looks like reptilian skin all over here. Although, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Let me put this box down. Let me put this box down. Do not, do not get it twisted. This tumble leather is very, very, very buttery. You guys can see that right there. Boom. There you go. If I remove that insert that's in there, tree towel, tree, whatever it's called, that leather is nice, man. It's really nice. But I just don't like the texture of it. The detailness on it is too much detail. Uh, I don't need it for my whole entire sneaker. Maybe on a little part of like maybe up here or something, something crazy like that. Maybe, but no, not for me. Like I said, I'm on the side that was in the lesser part of the comments that said this is an easy pass um and for me it's not an easy pass like i said i love the jordan 5 but it's just not doing it for me let me know let me know drop it down in the comments let me know your opinion do you agree with me are you on the same side of the fence as me are you on the you know the majority side of the fence where people love this sneaker um let me know drop it down in the comments I appreciate you guys tuning in so much. It's your boy Detail Don. Much love till next time. Peace.